Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to go and take a look over how to apply transparency effect onto our text. And it's pretty simple. We're going to go to file, we're going to go open and then we're going to choose the picture we want to model. So in this case, it's this one, click it and then we're going to make sure that the picture is 1080p because that is industry standard. So go to crop and then you want to type in 1920 by 1080p click on the picture and then there might be some boxes that will not be selected but that's fine just because we want to crop it as much as possible just to make sure it's 1920 by 1080p which is industry standard once again click apply and that's that in this case we didn't have to like cut anything just because the picture was already 1920 by 1080 okay now we're going to apply some text onto the picture and i'm going to type in beauty and we're gonna place it in the middle of the screen of the screen or somewhere around here and then we're going to make sure that the text is actually going to be on the entire page right so throughout the entire page in the middle how do we do this how do we make it bigger click control T and then hold shift no not the tab this is the tab that's wrong hold shift and make it bigger sometimes it might be slightly harder so you have to position it around a little bit and we want to make it big throughout the entire page okay there we go now it's pretty big I'm gonna make it slightly smaller and that's about that okay now one thing that we have to make sure is that the text we're selecting has to be black so if it's not black just select the entire text go to color panel and make sure it's black so it's not white it has to be black cool um, one more thing, I'm using Tempus New, which is really good text and it's often used for professional uh, graphics design anyway. So make, just make sure you use that or you can use any text that you really want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to go and just quickly select the text. How do we do this? We're going to just going to go to select. We're just going to click on the layer. We're going to go to the soft light effect and we're going to apply it. And then we're going to hit control and then click the thumbnail of this picture. That's, the, you know, that square and that T in the middle. This will basically just select the text we have right here. And but that's not the main point because we want to select the outside of the text because we're going to make that part of the image transparent. So how do we do this? We're going to go to select. We're going to go to inverse. And that's basically going to select the outside of the text. OK. Now that we have done that, there is just one more step that we have to do. We're going to go to this going to go to this yin yang tool icon thingy that it looks like yin yang. We're going to go to solid color and this will basically um, select the outside of the text and it's going to colorize it with the color in this color picker. So I'm going to select white color because white color is the best transparency color when you're going to be applying transparency too. So let's just select white color. And then let's move the opacity right here to about 45%. So as you can see, this is pretty much already the final product and we don't have to do anything else. However, there's one more thing that you can actually do and you can actually change the, like the, the, you know, the background. It doesn't have to be this girl in this case, you can choose another one. Uh, we can go to file. We're going to go to place linked and then we're going to go and choose this one. For example, uh, one more thing is, uh, is that you have to make sure that you, ca you have to rasterize it like perfectly which basically means it has to fit the, uh, the screen so I'm going to click on the anchor points and just drag it until it fits the screen and in this and then I just I'm just gonna put it below the text but above the previous one so this one will overlap and that's that's how you do it it's that just that simple and you can just keep changing the pictures anyway uh, one more good thing is that you can click on this icon here so this is where it's the white box and you can change the color as well so you can make sure and change the transparency color as well so it can be red slightly reddish or it can be blackish and things like that you know you can really play around with this so well and it really creates a nice effect so if you guys have any questions just make sure just leave me a comment i answer every single comment that i get so i hope you guys have a really good day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.